today I am going to be doing a review on um uh second Genesis six pack. Um number one thing to remember when playing Sega Genesis six pack is in G Genesis in general is to remember that you need to be either six years old or an autistic man child, which means you can't wear a shirt. Oh okay. Today we okay we start. Oh, he's he's going. Okay. Oh, um, the the first game we review will um prob probably be um uh classic game Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Sonic was invented in 1991 by Sonic Team Sega. Uh. They made a game. Oh, oh no! Oh, don't, 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 don't. Streets, streets, streets of rage is is a um classic game. It is about you're the dude in the middle or the black dude. I choose black dude because black dude is pretty sick. Um, black dude. Uh, he plays black dude, and um, you you want to punch people. So it's pretty similar to Golden Axe. Oh oh shit! Oh man, are the cops on my side or? Are they on the so it's pretty similar to Golden Axe. Uh, you. You press B to punch people. I'm not doing that right now. Um, uh, no, um, and you, you jump with C. And you can do a kick really strong, knocks him out of the park. Never ready for it, I think. The best way to get through the game, pro tip, is to jump a lot and kick. And you jump and kick, people don't see coming. Just like in real life, if that's a secret technique, you know, jump up in the air and kick them. So in Streets of Rage, you play a, a thug, life, criminal, scum, and you may make it into money, ball, ball and money, but the only way you can make the ball and money is to kick more ass. And so that's, that's how you do it, you make the ball and money. Uh, Streets of Rage is the is often thought of as the casual version of Golden Axe. Golden Axe is twice as hardcore. Um, it's harder. Uh, Streets of Rage is kind of pansy shit. Um, punch this telephone booth to get an apple. I don't know what the fuck's going on there, man. Um, I mean, Golden Axe, you don't find shit items. What is this? Uh, pick up a knife. If, if I have a chance to pick it up, I'll be beaten up. Um, I got a knife. Uh, never mind, I don't. I'll get it eventually. Uh, I will get used to... Oh, I'm over, baby. Number one. Sometimes I think that uh, Golden Axe really needs to pick up the pace. I mean, if it wants to be a more hardcore version of this game, it really needs to. Uh, broken bottles. I mean, there's no there's no weapons in Golden Axe. I mean, you have your standard weapon, but that's kind of it. In this game, there's a lot more depth to it because I mean, you can like pick up uh, the shit. Uh, throw this out of the way. That's a piece of shit. Um, there, there's the blue skin. Uh, I guess they really don't like me. I don't know why. But I am. Oh, there we go. The pipe. Beat people up now. When you jump, the pipe disappears. It's it, pro tip. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. Oh shit! Oh uh, uh, no! Oh no! Believe it or not, Columns is one of the uh, more amazing games um, in this thing. Uh, I'm going to be hard mode because I'm hardcore. 
Um, how how columns works is you, you gotta move shit, uh, and then you get tons of points. Dog, so many points, you can't believe it. Uh, the main goal of columns is is like any other puzzle game, you gotta get tons of shit. Um, there are a lot of puzzle games. Um, the columns is probably the most hardcore. Uh, secondary hardcore games are like uh, secondary hardcore games are like um, uh, uh, one second. Um, well, the thing with columns is columns is real like true uh, video game prowess. The thing about columns is that you gotta be really careful with how you stack. I just made a mistake there. Um, a lot of times you stack things and that's not right. Oh no! Uh, what's great about columns is only other games you can do with it, like sideways and shit, that's really cool. Um, I'm about to die. Oh, not, not on the best. What up, son? Oh! I got your combos. Uh, oh shit, I missed that. Um, the combos in this game are kind of like classic games, like... There's a lot of classic games out there that people like say they're copy off of others. So like, for example, Puyo Puyo Pop is just the uh, Jap Japanese version of the American game uh, Doc Doc Doctor Robotnik Meme Bean Machine. Doc Doc Doctor Robotnik Meme Bean Machine, man. So, uh, this is the superior puzzle game in America right now. There hasn't been a game like this for a long time, I'd say. This is a really good year for puzzle games with this game coming out of America. Uh, this game was an American game. It was made by an American company called uh, uh, Sega Saturn. And their main goal was to make a puzzle game for Americans. Now, they, they took a lot of... People often say this looks like Puyo Puyo, but I disagree. I think Puyo Puyo looks like this. I think that Octobronics Mean Machine really does have a lot going for it when it comes to you know how puzzle games work. It has all the standard functions going on, and it really does you know focus on the player aspect. You know the story. You know how do you feel about the characters you're playing as? Do you think that the robots are good? Do you think they're bad? I mean, your input has a lot of like a standing in the game. You know, you know how it is. I mean, you choose your path. A lot of people say Bioshock's art, I think. This is art. I, I, I think that this game is uh, classic art uh, of the highest standard, you know? You know, how I, you know what I mean, right? You know, you know, just classic art, highest standard. You get major points, you know, you chill out with the bros, uh, the robots are evil, and, you know, Dr. Robotnik is back. Now, a lot of people get Dr. Robotnik confused with Dr. Eggman. I don't know why. Dr. Eggman is a fat dude. Dr. Robotnik is uh, a fat dude who looks different. So, I mean, they look different. They look different people. Sometimes I wonder if people even know what they're talking about. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, seriously, some games deserve the reputation they deserve. I think that this game deserves the reputation it gets. In a way, a lot of people will, like, you know, games like get the reputation they deserve, the reputation they deserve is what they get. You know how games work in real life, you know how this shit is pretty strong. Oh my god, he's got a lot of shit going on, I shouldn't have gave him all, oh my god. Um, this is embarrassing, normally this doesn't happen. Oh, um, uh, um, uh, yeah, um, uh, uh, um, uh, this this was kind of embar embarrassing. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, made made by Team Ninja in 1982, 1989. Um, Temco, you know, classic games serve classic players. Uh, this game is definitely number one. Shinobi classics. Um, wh what do you do when you talk about Shinobi? I mean, you, you talk about the difficulty, you talk about Ryu, Hayabusa, you know, Joe Hisashi, you know how it is. Miyamoto Musashu. Uh, the, the big deal with this game is that there's a lot of Japanese stuff in it. People like that. I disagree. I think it's kind of irritating. I think if it had an American setting, like Ryu, Hayabusa, and Hadoken, and sh I mean, come on. 
Where is the American aspect to it? I mean, like, this isn't like the Karate Kid. I mean, Mr. Miyagi was my favorite Ameri Asian American character in all of movies. And sometimes, you know, you forget about that. You forget about the classic roles that that character was, you know, he trained.